Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. It specifically says, this is on their front door. Exemptions apply. They did not honor my exemption under the Human Rights Code. And now, he just put a piece of duct tape over the exemptions. Guys, oh, excuse me. Can hi, you, sir. Can you just move away because oh. customers, you don't have masks on? Right. We're outdoors, sir. Yeah, uh, you're on our property, but go. Oh, okay. Sir, who are you, by the way? I'm the owner of this place. Okay. Why did one of your employees duct tape over the uh, mask I'm exemption? Can you move away no. from my employee? Well, you're not supposed to. Do uh, excuse me. Get off. Thank you. Oh, okay. Then, well, yeah, I. Yeah. Feed it. Thank okay, you. but why, why did you duct tape you're over the. Any questions? You know what I mean? Thank you. Oh, okay. Put well, the mask on. Put a what mask on? Okay then. On property without a mask. Come okay on. then, but why? But you're not allowed to mask over the exemptions please, for please, for masks. Just go, please. Okay. There's people here. Okay then. Beat it. Sorry to interrupt, but YouTube is trying to kill us. They've already demonetized us, and it's only a matter of time until we're off the platform completely. If you don't want to miss any of our content, go to rebelnews.com and subscribe. Okay, do it now. David Mendes for Rebel News here in Toronto, and I'm with John. He'd prefer his last name not be used. Well, that's not important. What is important is what happened to John at this home hardware store uh, just barely a week ago. And, well, John, let me ask you directly. You came here. You're a contractor. You were buying some uh, building materials. You told me off camera you like to support the little guy. That's why you're at a home uh, hardware not a big home depot or what have you and what exactly happened well i came in the store i walked in with no problems and i was actually relieved to see the uh, exemption sign posted on the front window a lot of stores you know uh, if they don't have it posted i'll usually avoid them because you might get hassled for not wearing a mask but i saw the exemption so i walked in i didn't have a problem until i was in the checkout once in the checkout a employee came up to me and he was you know kind of being mean asking me, you need to wear a mask or you need to get out. Mm. I stated to him, I do have an exemption under the bylaw, Section 2A, and um, he just didn't want to hear it. He didn't want to hear it, and then he just continued trying to push me out of the store. He actually physically? No, was he didn't physically touch okay. me, but he was kind of, you know, directing me towards the door. Okay. And which, at this point here, I told him that um, on your front door, it does state that exemptions do apply. You should respect the bylaw. They shouldn't cover just parts of the bylaw. They should respect the whole bylaw. So I accompanied him outside to see the door, the sign that's posted on his door and the rules I was following. And um, he said, no, uh, sorry, I, you're going to have to leave if you're not wearing a mask. So in other words, uh, and we're running into this a lot, John, uh, in the retail world, uh, yet another store that believes its corporate policy trumps the rule of law. Exactly. Um, I mean, a business should follow all the bylaws and accommodate people that do have exemptions. I mean, people come in all sorts of you know, uh, shapes and sizes and conditions. And this is what the bylaw and the human rights was set out to do. So everyone is treated equally. Now, folks, this is where the story gets extra special because once John was outside uh, without his merchandise, they wouldn't cash it through. John, you pointed out to the employee uh, the sign and part of the sign includes the exemptions uh, ie if uh, you have a medical exemption for wearing a mask if you're under the age of two and folks just will you see what happened it says exemptions apply in your front door and that's the law it's the law you're breaking the law you're breaking the law yeah you're you're yeah you're you're not obeying the bylaw no, we're not. You're not obeying the bylaw, yeah, which exactly. says exemptions apply. I'm at Home Hardware here, uh, Dufferin Street, where they just kicked me out of the store and they grabbed the item out of my hand and would not let me pay for it and didn't even honor my exemptions. They just kicked me right out. It specifically says this is on their front door. Exemptions apply. They did not honor my exemption under the Human Rights Code. And now, he just put a piece of duct tape over the exemptions. This is highly illegal, highly wrong, and they're gonna get it. You know, John, I think, is it Red Green? He said there's a million uses for duct tape. I think we're up to a million and one, and that is. Did, did I just see what we? Th I think I saw, which is the employee came out and covered up the stipulation 
uh, of the uh, the mask exemption with a piece of duct tape, thereby meaning uh, presumably it does no longer apply here. David, I couldn't I couldn't believe my eyes. My camera was still rolling. I was just documenting the situation that I had inside the store. Yeah. And he came out right at that exact second. My camera was rolling, and um, he covered up the bylaw with a piece of duct tape. I guess he didn't approve of the bylaw, um, and he was making his own his own rules, his own laws. Um, I just I couldn't believe what he did. I, I still can't it. believe it. I, I think this might be a world first, uh, a one-off in terms of, you know, all the masking nonsense we're going through right now uh, in dealing with the Wuhan virus. And I have to tell you, uh, John, I did reach out to City of Toronto spokesman Brad Ross, uh, basically asking him, is, is this okay? Is this legitimate? And Brad Ross said to me, quote, the signage must be clear. It can't be altered in such a way that it misforms or misleads the requirement for a mask, end quote. And I would add to that, it also can't um, mislead or misinform the requirements that certain people are allowed to be here without a mask. Uh, I, was, I was shocked at what I saw and uh, I called by law just to confirm to see if store employees are allowed to um, kick somebody out if they do have an exemption and alter the law to their liking. And the bylaw officer, or the person I spoke to on bylaw, uh, told me that that was not right. He wasn't supposed to do that, which that I already knew because I actually keep a copy of the bylaw in my car. Um, so I knew what he was doing was wrong. And the bylaw uh, personnel confirmed that for me. Um, yeah, I would imagine it, it just can't be legitimate. Look, I, I don't like that uh, stop sign at the corner of uh, Dufferin there. Um, I'm certainly not going to cover up the word stop or duct tape and just cruise on well, through. I, I wasn't aware that duct tape could null and void a, a bylaw. I mean, if that was the case, I would I would put a piece of duct tape over my uh, property taxes and that'll that'll null and void my uh, my payment to the property taxes. But well, unfortunately, it, uh, it doesn't null and void the bylaw and it needs to be respected. And have you heard back from the store? Have they offered an explanation, an apology? Have they reached out to you at all? I have called the store, and I did call the store right after the incident did happen. Um, I didn't record the phone call, so I can't really comment. But basically, what the owner did say was, you don't like it, you need to get out of the store. But, wow. Yeah. So, and again, you know, I'm not trying to cause aggro for a small mom pop sure. business here. I like supporting the little guy too, but fair is fair. I mean, you got to follow the law. And, and this was the reason you were here in the first place to support a local exactly. small business. But they don't seem, I guess, accommodating to support your medical exemption. Exactly, exactly. And, um, the lady at the front, the cashier, actually said, there's nothing wrong with you, you could wear a mask, which I... Oh, well, how did she know? I, apparently, <laughs> maybe she's got a, a medical degree of some sort, um, but that comment was probably the most disturbing to me. Well, I, I would say, in addition to a medical degree, she must be clairvoyant as well. Usually a doctor has to examine you to come up with a prognosis. Well, you know what, John? We, um, I, ha I can't help but notice that um, the sign has the duct tape removed from it. So, um, you know, we'll go into the store and find a... Oh, excuse me. Can hi, you, sir. Can you just move away because... Oh, customers, absolutely. you don't have masks on. Right, we're outdoors, sir. Yeah, so you're on our property, but go. Oh, okay, sir. Who are you, by the way? I'm the owner of this place. Okay. Why did one of your employees duct tape over the uh, mask I'm exemption? Not it. Can you move no. away from my employee? Well, you're not supposed to. Do uh, excuse me, get off. Thank you. Oh, okay then. Well, I. Okay, Thank you. but why, why did you duct tape you're not over the? Answer any questions? You, you know what I mean? Thank you. Oh, go. okay. Okay. Put a, well, the... mask on. Put a what mask on? You okay then. On a property without a mask. Come okay on. then, but why? But you're not allowed to mask over the exemptions please, for please, for masks. Just go, please. Okay. There's people here. Okay then. Beat it. On Beat it. Property. Wow. Jeez, there's hospitality for you. I tell you. You know, he was just trying to support him. I I'm on my way. But Thank can you, you tell me why you illegally covered over a sign, ma'am? We haven't done anything. You are illegally on our property. We actually have the video. Would you like to see it? Off our property. Okay, so you're denying that happened. Off our property. I'm not talking to you. you okay, then. All right, so. Well. <laughs> I guess we can stand here. Let's move is this, is this. All right, then. <laughs> Unbelievable.
unbelievable. Well, John, do we laugh or do we cry? Um, we stay neutral at this point. Um, <laughs> I'm not here to cause, you know, anybody any, you know, inconvenience. Yeah. Just want to get my products and go and yeah. treat it like everybody else. And that was basically the attitude that I got when I was in the store. Um, there's just no middle ground here. It's wear a mask or leave. Uh, disregarding all exemptions, which is, I feel is wrong. It's very wrong. Uh, you know, I found it staggering. The only reason we were there, of course, and we didn't even enter the store. We didn't even attempt to enter the store. It, but the reason why we visited here was simply to get their side of the story. I, I reached out, but they seem to be denying that it ever happened. But once again, folks, the camera never lies. Let's roll that video John shot a week ago. I'm at Home Hardware here, uh, Dufferin Street where they just kicked me out of the store and they grabbed the item out of my hand and would not let me pay for it and didn't even honor my exemption, they just kicked me right out. It specifically says, this is on their front door, exemptions apply. They did not honor my exemption under the human rights code and now, he just put a piece of duct tape over the exemptions. This is highly illegal highly wrong but they're gonna get it so there you have it I mean this to me is a bit of a public relations disaster for this home hardware um, and as though we as although we want to support the little guy I guess well at the end of the day John there are other little guys to support and maybe little guys and gals that are a little more accommodating of your medical exemption Especially at times like this when the little stores like this are suffering and the, you know, the big box stores are, are raking all of this cash in. I feel like every loyal customer they should accommodate and for lack of a better term, take their business. Mm. Um, but the big problem I do see here is a lot of these stores, especially the little stores, they, don't, they are not educated on the bylaw and they don't really educate their staff on the bylaw. And that's getting them into a lot of problems, whether it's with human rights or situations like this. Um, other than that, I mean, the big box stores haven't given me any problems at all. They welcome wow. us with open arms. Um, I state I have an exemption. They respect it and they let me shop. Yeah, you're merely asking them to follow the law. Um, you, since you raised it, human rights, uh, a court procedure, is there anything uh, on the horizon where you would seek some justice for the way you were treated or are you just going to simply uh, vote with your wallet and take your business elsewhere? I'm a simple guy. I don't like confrontation. Um, I don't have any plans right now to sue. Um, that's not in my, um, in my um, distant future of thoughts, but um, I just want the small guys to be better educated on the bylaw and treating people with respect. That's, that's the main thing, especially at a time like this when there's so much division and there's so much conflict. It'd be better for people just to keep the peace instead of causing problems. I couldn't agree more with you, John. And, uh, but as you saw, uh, they were not very peaceful. They were not civil at all to us. They, they came charging out, uh, telling us to get off their property. And like I said, I was simply trying to get their side of the story. John, I'm so sorry for the experience uh, you encountered. I kind of get a sense of the cultural mindset at this store, just given our brief interaction with them. And there we have it, folks. I mean, there yes, there are bylaws regarding face masks, but as part and parcel of that bylaw, there are indeed exemptions. It is the law. And if you are a certain age or if you have a medical exemption, you do not have to put that mask on. It's too bad some are learning that truism the hard way. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Oh, hey guys, sorry for interrupting your video. I'm sure you've heard by now YouTube is coming to kill us. It could be at any moment and it could be because of the video that you're watching right now. Really, they'll use any excuse to get rid of us. And when that inevitably does happen, we wanna be able to stay in touch with you. Please go right now to rebelnews.com, sign up there, leave us a little bit of your information so that when YouTube does deplatform us altogether, we can tell you where we've gone and what happened to us. That's rebelnews.com.